Hello everyone, good morning to you, happy new week to you, oh, God bless you, God bless you. Welcome to another edition of Rhapsody of Realities. Today is Monday 28th of August 2023 and the topic is, Here's the glory of our lives, praise to Lord. So before we start this beautiful morning, let's pray together. Father, we thank you, we honor you. We appreciate you for who you are. We thank you for your loving kindness. Thank you for what shall we us into this beautiful week that you have made, O oh Lord, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Thank you for your word we are about to receive with gladness of heart. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Once more, welcome to another edition of Rhapsody of Realities. Today is Monday, 28th of august 2023 and the topic is he is the glory of our lives romans 8 verse 9 says but ye are not in flesh but in the spirit if so be that the spirit of god dwells in you now if any man have not the spirit of christ he is none of his praise to lord that's romans 8 9 the holy spirit is the glory of the father romans 6 4 is also called the spirit of glory first peter 4 14. he is the glory of our lives and the glory of christianity you couldn't know god or love jesus without the holy spirit that is true christians who don't have the holy spirit live as victims in life they are buffeted by satan and vulnerable to the element of this world the Apostle Paul emphasized the importance of having the Holy Spirit when he had certain disciples he met at Ephesus. Praise the Lord. Have you received the Holy Ghost since he believed? Acts 19 verse 2. When the answer said, we have not so much as heard whether there be any Holy Ghost. Acts 19 verse 2. Paul was stoned forthwith. He explained the scripture to them and got them to receive the Holy Spirit. Acts 19 verse 3 to 6. No one can live the authentic Christian life without the Holy Spirit. The one who is born again but hasn't received the Holy Spirit easily fall into temptation and sin. Unable to control his fleshly appetite or restrain himself from evil. It is only through the Holy Spirit that you mortify the deeds of the body and carnal desires. For if ye live after the flesh, ye shall die. But if ye through the Spirit do mortify the deeds of the body, ye shall live. Romans 8 verse N. Without the Holy Spirit, you can't have the character of Christ. Jesus had to have the Holy Spirit. The Apostle had to have the Holy Spirit. Life without the Holy Spirit is empty. So if you are reading this and you haven't received the Holy Spirit, do so right now. Simply say, Bless Holy Spirit, I receive you into my heart. Now in the name of Jesus Christ. And be filled with the Spirit of God. Amen. Otherwise, you may go to your church pastor or a trusted and faithful Christian. Who is filled with the Holy Spirit to pray for you? Hmm. Hallelujah! <laughs> what a powerful message this morning! And did you receive the Holy Spirit? If you have not, the prayer was in the rhapsody of reality. And if you repeat it, oh, you have received the Holy Spirit. He is the glory of our lives. Praise the Lord. The Holy Spirit is the glory of our life. Praise the Lord. He helps you to everything, everything that you need to be stable is in the Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord. Yes, that is what Jesus left us. He gave, left us comforter. And that is the Holy Spirit. That is the Holy Spirit work with you. The Holy Spirit intercedes for you. The Holy Spirit help you to know when there is danger give you the sign give you the signal praise to lord you discover that you don't go this place and you discover that something happened in that place it's the holy spirit praise to lord you don't want something through the holy spirit praise to lord so the holy spirit is very important hallelujah as born again christian the holy spirit is very very vital it plays a vital role in our lives and in our work with God. 
praise to Lord. With that being said, let's take the prayer and confessions together. Lord, I'm grateful for the blessings of being in fellowship with you. You have made my life beautiful. Thank you for making me ever fruitful and productive. Your glory is revealed in and through me today. And my whole world is imparted and transformed by the glory of your divine presence. In Jesus' name, Amen. For that study, you can look at John 14, verses 16 to 17, at 19, verse 1 to 6. When your Bible read the plan, 1 Corinthians 12, and Psalm 146 to 150. To your Bible read the plan, you can look at Luke 19, verse 20 to 27, and 4 Samuel 16. So at your leisure time, you can go through the scriptures, and you'll be indeed blessed in the name of Jesus. Thank you so much for joining me. What if fabulous what a wonderful world we have this morning indeed i'm so blessed and i know that you are blessed as well and if you're here you've not given your life to christ this is an opportunity for you to do so all you have to do is repeat the prayer of salvation with me this morning oh lord god i believe with all my heart in jesus christ son of the living god i believe he died for me and god raised him from the dead i believe he's alive today I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life from this day. Through him and in his name, I have everlasting life. I am born again. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I am now a child of God. If you repeat this prayer with me, congratulations to you. You are now a child of God. All you have to do is study your Bible, get to know God is, who Jesus is, and who the Holy Spirit is to you. And bombard yourself with faithful messages such like this. And look for a believing church and worship there as well for growth and for strength. What a great time we had. And if today is your first time coming across my channel, please do me a favor. Please help me to subscribe on your notification bell. So I end Anytime I upload a video such like this, you'll be first to be notified because you'll be blessed by these videos. Hallelujah. And please, you can also share to your loved ones. God bless you so much. So before we go, let's pray. Thank you for taking instruction. Father, we thank you. We bless you. We honor you. Thank you for your word this morning to us. And thank you, Holy Spirit, for being our intercessor, our advocate. Thank you for being our helper. We bless your holy name. Thank you, Father. Thank you for this week. We know that all things are working together for our good because we love you. Thank you, Father, for our daily bread this week. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you so much. You have a great day. See you same time tomorrow by the grace of God. God bless you. Bye.